popular demand a lot of people are trying to find out the approximate cost to fence a plot of land here in Ibejuleki so today in this video I want to share with you very quickly as my culture is the approximate cost to fence a plot of land just one plot of land I know you may not have bought into MN estate but I have a client who bought into here in fact I have several clients who bought into MN estate and today one of my clients is doing the fencing of his project and as my culture is I need to seize this opportunity very quickly to educate you on the cost or what it will cost you to fence a plot of land here in Amen Estate. Just in case you do not even have a land and you are thinking of buying, we see a plot of land available here. So currently we have 500 square meter here, still going for 33 million naira, right? With 6 million naira down payment, you can spread the payment, all right? So guys, without further delay, let's jump straight to my client's property so that you can see and have a view of the accurate cost of fencing one plot of but land. Again, I am not going to talk much because this is not my area of expatriate. I'm not a professional in this area, all right? So I'm going to push in an engineer. Of course, there are actually two engineers here on site, all right? So they are going to tell you absolutely everything when it comes to the fence raft and the cost of doing a raft foundation in July 2024 here in Amen Estate. Join me, make welcome engineer Ola. Hi, engineer. I'm fine, very fine, Mr. Ben. How All right. Doing? Also, welcome the architect himself, engineer Uche. Hi, nice, Uche. Nice to meet you, sir. All right. Architect Uche. The okay. architect Uche. Yeah, All right. So, that is the beauty of it. So, I'm going to hand over the microphone straight away to them, guys. They are going to tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to doing the RAF foundation here. Okay, first, let's start with uh, architect Uche. All right. So, please tell us how long have you been in this job here in Lekki Lagos? Okay. Uh, here in Lekki Lagos, I've been in this job for the past um, six or seven years now. You know, and you know, presently right now I'm working on this. I, mean, I did the, we did the architectural design of this project here in Emen Estates. All right. All right. So do you work outside of Lagos, or your base is only here in Lagos? And we have, we have other sites around Nigeria, mostly in the east and here on the west, which is Lagos. So any side we see job bros with the good here. That's perfect. Now let's switch to engineer. Thank you very much, welcome, architect. Thank welcome, you for sir. taking time to welcome, share your experience sir. with us. You're very welcome, sir. First, engineer, please tell us about yourself. Yeah, um, my name is Engineer Olamile Kaumaro. So I'm a structural engineer for over 12 years experience here in Lagos and uh, outside Lagos here. Yeah. All right, so Engineer, our viewers actually want to know, I know you're the one, you guys are the one handling this project. So our viewers want to know, first of all, if they want to do a fence here in Amen Estate, in Ibejuleki, what material do they need? We want to know the cost. Okay, um, uh, we have uh, we have different uh, different level of uh, working here because there are some land you need to fill up before you can have your fence, depending on the nature of the land. Here in Ibejuleki, once you acquire your land, you definitely you know you are, you are going to do the filling up. So when you fill up to a certain level, maybe probably to your road level given to you by the estate, you have to consider what the road level is. Your road level will now give you the height of your raft. So from the height of your raft you, are, you, you have can determine the cost of the raft. But here in Amen Estate here, we have a different level of the uh, raft uh, foundation. So engineer, I know you also make use of ions here. All right, so tell us the number of tons of iron like uh, that you need you need 12 mm do you need 16 mm just tell us exactly what we need to do a fence of one plot here okay um uh, to, to have a fence of uh, 1.2 meter fence raft 600 square meter yes at least you need a uh, two 2.1 uh tons of iron you know in that 2.1 you have it 12 mm you have 16 mm and you have a 10 mm your 10 mm is going to be for your rings you know to capture the the form so you have your 16 mm for your runner and you have your 12 mm for the same runner and for your you know columns all right between the fence all right engineer so how much exactly is the ton of iron right now the tons of iron and is 1.1 million okay approximately, approximately i know approximately. you don't sell iron all right yes, yes. so and we need a total of how many tons you need a 2.5 2.5 uh, yeah. i believe you guys are taking note 
I know one question that will come to mind of most of our viewers is do they actually need to do a fence before they start construction and also do they need to do sand filling of their land here before they start construction yes it's a two-way thing number one is always advisable for a client to have his fence raft first before the sound filling because that same fence raft will still serve as a retaining wall so when you are sound filling your land the erosion will not wash away the sound and at the same time the fence raft can as well give you the instinct between the angles to be able to focus on your building yeah my question was straightforward is it compulsory to have a fence before we start construction um it's, it's not it's not but it's advisable most of the time to have it in a situation where you are some feeling the land you know to to be able to retain the sound within the building area within the, the perimeter uh area i can see what you are using here is not uh it's not parkour as we used to know okay uh, do we need uh how much does it cost to get this okay uh the beauty of this is this now because you always save me cost for our clients because we are using a board to to have this form work you are going to spend a lot of money in a plank uh, form work now if you look at this height now we have almost 1.2 height of this steel yes so to attain to this 1.2 if you are using a normal board which is one by 12 you maybe probably you have a five length of uh, which is a 3300 before you can attain to this level so when we calculated our formal the numbers of form work that we are going to use for this yes. whole site we discovered that it's almost a million plus so instead of doing that you can as well get this thing rent this cost us 580 something thousand to rent it you, you use it and you return it back so it saved a lot of cost compared with the plank guys i hope you are learning something this cost approximately is an approximate price because the prices of things change constantly here in nigeria but approximately as at july you can get this for approximate cost of about five hundred thousand plus all right engineer now we want to sum everything up all right as of today in july how much is the estimated cost if i'm looking at doing a fence here how much should i be budgeting okay uh with this we have having now approximately we're having six to seven million naira to have a fence fill up like this 1.2 meter height fence okay six to okay. seven million naira. exactly 1.2 meter but again i know you can also add blocks on top right of course is of it inclusive course. of the blocks no 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 exclusive block exclusive of block yes of wow block. so guys i hope you are taking note yeah engineer so you didn't also tell us i know we want to know again the cost of sand filling like how much again if we're also looking at sand filling you've told us just now that to fence this plot of land we'll need to look at about five to six million naira. So how much will it cost us to sand fill one plot of land here in Amen Estate? Yes, uh, the cost of sand filling is depends. Now, just as I said earlier, we have uh, different depths of the land. Now, what we have here now is we are, we are in a depth land here now. So the cost approximately to attain to the road level, and most of the time it depends on the road level given to you. Because normally we have, uh, we have different level. We have existing road level and we have a final road level. Okay. So if you are sampling to your existing road level, probably you are sampling to the construction level that you can work as a construction man. So when you not get to the road level final, that's another sampling. That means you have a two layers of sampling. Okay. So if you are filling from the zero level so to the, the compound level. level, definitely you should be looking around six to seven million. So guys. To sand fill a plot of land here and to also have a fence around your property here as of July, you need approximately about 12 million naira to achieve that. All right. So thank you very much, Engineer Ola. Ola. Thank, thank you for you. taking time to share with us. Of course, my thank very you good very friend, much. architect very Uche. Very <laughs> thank you very much, guys. These are, these are my guys so that we have been using, <laughs> all right? I'm so with them, you. you are sure of your property. They can deliver in no time. All right. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank exactly. You, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. All right. So, guys, I believe you have learned a lot from this video and uh, from the wealth of knowledge that architect Uche and Engineer Ola just shared with you here in Amen Estate. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, meet benjamin ali they call me the real estate guru because for over eight years now i have consistently assisted a lot of nigerians home and abroad secure very good properties here in the Bejuleki. and i can also assist you with the right real estate information just like in the video you just watched so i can know absolutely everything 
when it comes to property investment here in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. So please kindly hit the subscription button if you have not done that already so that you'll be notified next time when we post relevant content like this. So till I see you guys in our next episode, make sure you stay glued to this channel. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>